for the next examples, we're going to talk about even and odd functions. So if I have an even function, the formality of that is going to be, I can substitute in a negative x, and I can get the exact same answer as what I started with. So if I have a regular x, it'll give me f of x, okay? If I change the sign on x, it will still give me a f of x. It won't, it won't change the signs on it. So what does that look like? Let's look at, for even, let's look at f of x is x squared. Okay, so what does that look like? We already know that he looks like a parabola. And if you'll notice, the beautiful symmetry across the y-axis. So if I were to fold this on the y-axis, this arm and this arm would lay on top of each other. So what does that look like um, as far as algebra goes? If I put in or sub in a positive 2, what point will pop out? So 2 in for x, well, in order to know the, to know the y-coordinate, I need to square it. So 2 squared is 4. So if I put in a positive 2, I get a positive 4. Okay, what happens if I change the sign on it? So let's go to a negative 2, and what pops out? If I put in a negative 2, well, what is negative 2 times negative 2? It is positive 4. So giving you an example of a single point, what we have is I put in an x value, it gave me a y value. I change the sign on the x value, it gives me the same y value. So notice the way that looks on the graph is you're going to have y-axis symmetry. Okay, so symmetry about the y-axis, or I should say across the y-axis. Look at my writing be so trashy. All right, so even functions mean that we have symmetry across the y-axis. So what can I do with this function? Can I move it up and it still will fold on top of itself? Yes. Can I move it down and it will still fold on top of itself? Yes. Can I flip it? Yes. Can I stretch it? and make it taller and skinnier? Yes. Can I compress it and make it wider? Yes. All of those things will work. What can I not do um, as far as keeping it an even function? If I shift it to the left or the right, it will lose its evenness, which means it will no longer be an even function. Okay. If I shift it to the left or to the right, it will no longer be an even function. So let's look at the odd. So what does this say? If I sub in a negative x, all the signs will change. So look at this side. Okay, if I shove in a negative x, I get a value for y. If I shove in a positive x, it changes the value on the outside. Okay, so if I change the signs on x, it'll change the signs on y. So what does that look like when we look at an odd function? So if I have an odd function, so let's try y equals x cubed, okay? If I put in a positive x value, what does this look like? He looks like this. Lovely picture. If I put in a positive x value like 2, okay, that will give me the point 2 comma 8 because I would put in a 2. To get the y coordinate, I would cube it. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, okay? So there's that point. What happens if I grab a negative 2? What's going to pop out? So if I grab a negative 2, well, what is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2? It is negative 8. So if I change the sign on x, it's going to change the sign on y. So what am I allowed to do to this thing? We call this symmetry about the origin. So this is symmetric about the origin. And why is that? Because I would need two folds. So if I fold this on the y-axis, this little arm right here is going to be over here, okay? If I fold it again 
across the x-axis, now this arm is going to lay right on top of that arm. So that's what we're looking at. Now what can I do to keep it odd? Okay, can I move it up and down? No, because it, it'll move off this point of the origin where the symmetry is. It doesn't have to travel through the origin, but it does have to have that symmetry about the origin. So if I shift this whole thing up, and if I fold it, and then I fold it again, it's not going to be symmetric across the origin. So I can't move it up down. Can I move it left, right? No, I cannot. So if I move it left or right, it'll lose its symmetry about the origin again. Can I flip it? Yes, I can flip it. Can I stretch it or compress it? Yes, I can. So everything can be done, but I can't move it. Okay, so let's come back over here and look at, wait, I've lost control. Look at this. I want to know, is this even? Is this odd or is this neither? It doesn't work, um, meaning neither one would work. All right, so what I want to do is I want to figure out what this thing looks like if I put in different values. So I am going to, first of all, just so that you can see what's happening, okay? I am going to pop out, um, I'm gonna foil this thing out. So this is the same thing as an x plus three times an x plus three, which would give me an x squared plus a three x plus a three x plus a nine, which when I foil it out and combine like terms, I get x squared plus six x plus nine, just because I want you to see the effect easier. Okay, so I this is my function as it stands. So how do I test for evenness? To test for evenness, I am going to sub in a net. So this is just the way it stands. Okay, I have a positive x. This is what I get. If I sub in a negative x, then I need to um, get the exact same thing back. So I'm going to try this with a negative x, and I'm going to simplify. So I've got a negative x squared plus a 6 times a negative x plus 9. Okay, so that gives me what is negative x times negative x. It is x squared. Okay, what is 6 times negative x? It is negative 6x. What is plus 9? It is plus 9. So what do you notice when I do this? this sign changed. So for him to be even, I needed to get the exact same thing back, and I didn't. So this is not even. So don't just look at this and say, oh, it's an even exponent. That must mean it's an even function. No, that's where we got the name. But what actually happened to this? What happened is that I'm a parabola. Okay, so let's just draw a little sketch right here. I am a parabola. But then what happened to me? This plus three is attached directly to the X, so it tells you to go left, right, okay? If it said plus three on the outside, that would tell you up, down, okay? So this now says move left three units. So I'm gonna pick up my parabola, and I'm gonna move it left three units. So can I still fold it on the Y axis, and will it still be symmetric? No, it will not, okay? So let's see if it's odd. So what am I looking at for an odd function? If I put in a negative, so this is where we can be cheap, okay? If I put in a negative x, I want all the signs to change. So what I would be looking for is a negative x squared, a negative 6x, and a negative 9. That's what I would want to see. But that's not what I got. What I got when I put in a negative x was only a single sign changed, okay? So I would want to see negative, negative, negative if that was going to be an odd function. So he started off positive, positive, positive. For him to be odd, all the signs change. So I'm looking for negative, negative, negative. Nope, only one sign changed, okay? So I can make both decisions by looking at one equation. So what does that mean? That means that I would take that pink thing and I would fold it on the y-axis and then again on the x-axis. No, there's no origin symmetry. So this one is a neither. He is a neither. He is not even. He is not odd.
he started off even, but I moved him so to the left. So he is no longer even. So let's try another one. We have f of x is, f of x is negative 4x minus x to the third. So my first step is going to be, let's change the signs on x and do the math and see what happens, okay? So I'm going to put in an f of negative x and see what happens. So negative 4 times negative x minus negative x to the third. Now let's simplify this thing, okay? What is negative 4 times negative x? He is positive 4x minus. What is negative x times negative x times negative x? That is negative x cubed. So what is minus negative x cubed? That gives me a positive 4x plus x cubed. So I have my equation. I just need to decide if it's even, odd, or neither. So if I was looking for an even function, I would have gotten the exact same thing back. So I would look down here and I would say negative 4x. Well, nope, don't have it. I would say negative x to the third. Nope, don't have it. So I lost it when I looked at the, that first term. If it's going to be an odd function, all the signs will change. So I started off with a negative 4x and a negative x to the third. And what did I end up with? A positive, <clears throat> I'm choking to death, a positive 4x. All right, I'm done choking to death. So I went from a negative to a positive and a negative to a positive. So since I changed the sign on x, but I got the complete opposite back, that means that this is an odd function. So he is an odd function. And when I look at that, hang on, let me draw it for you. Here's my picture. So when I draw it, this is this drawing, okay? So if I shove in zeros, I get a zero. If I shove in a one, you know, whatever, okay? But if I draw it, this is what I get. So what happens if I fold it? If I fold it, this little arm down here will now be laying in this quadrant, okay? Then fold it again. So fold this down, which means this arm is now laying on top of that arm. So it is symmetric about the origin, so he is an odd function. So let's do another one. We have negative 5x to the 6th. So, what? Okay, so I have a negative <coughs> f of x is a negative 5 x to the sixth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate at negative x, and then I'll make my decision. So I have a negative 5 times a negative x to the sixth. So what is a negative x times a negative, 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 negative? A negative and even number of times will turn positive. So that becomes a positive x to the sixth. So what happens? <clears throat> I substitute in a negative, and I got the exact same thing back. Nothing changed. So since I got the exact same thing back, this is an even function. He is an even function, okay? So if I had gotten a positive 5x to the 6th back, he would be an odd function, but I didn't, so he's even. You should notice at this point he cannot be even and odd. So if he's not even, he can't be, or sorry, back up. He cannot be even and odd at the same time. So if he's not even, he might be odd or he might be neither. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. So I changed this sign on my x. I got the exact same thing back, so he's an even function. What does this look like? Well, he's an x to the sixth. He got flipped and he got stretched. So that is what he looks like. <clears throat> kind of like a parabola, but different. So if I fold that on the y-axis, his little arms lay on top of each other. So that is, is that a good spot to stop? It is a good spot to stop. All right. 